So now let's go to the view which is called inflow outflow. You see here that not only the aorta is visible, but also we can see uh, the left atrium, the right atrium, the interatrial septum. And here is the uh, tricuspid valve and then pulmonary valve. We want to see this uh, inflow outflow view and to see that we just have to increase the angle to approximately 60. So try to do that. You see, it's very easy. So now we have tricuspid valve, inflow of the right ventricle, outflow of the ventricle, and then pulmonary valve. Good, so we have fifth view already. Now we can easily move to bicaval view. Bicaval view is, uh, is, is obtained by uh, rotation of the plane to 90 degrees because you see vena cava, superior and inferior, which are now uh, shown in blue here, are uh, perpendicular to the transverse section, right? Which, is, uh, which means that we have to uh, make the plane 90 degrees. So let's move to 90 degrees. Slightly more, okay. And now what, what do you have to do to show it? Antiflex. No. no. You have to go to here, right? So to, the, to the right cardiac chambers, right? So you have to rotate, rotate the clockwise. Yes, yeah. very good, you see? And now you can see that there is a, a superior vena cava and inferior vena cava, and this is the right atrium, right atrial appendage, which you can see here on the model. I can also cut it, and you see the same thing, right? So it's very easy, isn't it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> At the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> right. So now we finished some sequence that was very easy, with few steps, very little manipulations in the esophagus. <laughs>